How can you become better at math? This one is coming directly from my heart because I genuinely want this to help someone out there. Remember my words, this video will be a game changer for you. I know many of you are scared of math. Many of you don't understand it. Some of you even hate it. To you, math feels like nothing more than memorizing random formulas that have no real use in life. It feels like something made only for exams, marks, and pressure. You believe that only toppers or gifted students can actually enjoy it, while the rest of us are just supposed to somehow survive it. And honestly, if you feel this way, I don't blame you. But let's get one thing straight. Don't worry, I'm not going to give you any crappy advice like practice more or just believe in yourself. This is not that kind of video. You can't practice something that doesn't make sense, and you can't have confidence in a system that feels designed to make you fail. So, if we're going to fix this, we're going to start by changing the way you see the world. You, like most people, think that you are bad at math, but the truth is you were never fascinated enough by it. Instead, you were handed a homework or a worksheet taught a method or a formula, and told to move on to the next chapter. And without curiosity, even the sharpest brain feels dull. Now here's the most magical part. Humans did not evolve by memorizing steps. We evolved by asking questions. Early humans survived not because they were stronger than animals, but because they were curious. Curious about fire, tools, seasons, patterns in the sky, and how things work. That curiosity slowly turned into counting, measuring, and predicting. This is where mathematics was born. This curiosity is what separates humans from other animals. Animals learn by repetition, but humans learn through curiosity. We don't just see something happen, we ask why it happened and what will happen next. Math is simply curiosity, written in numbers and patterns. When schools remove curiosity and replace it with formulas, math feels dead. When you stop asking the why behind something and start just following how, you aren't using your human brain to its full potential. You're basically acting like a calculator. When humans cannot see a purpose, their brain automatically disengages. This is not laziness, and also it has nothing to do with our IQ. It is just our biology. You were also never shown that mathematics quietly runs almost everything around you. Your mobile phone is not a miracle of electronics. It is a miracle of mathematics. Claude Shannon, while studying abstract logic, created information theory, never imagining smartphones. His equations now control how your voice is compressed, transmitted, and reconstructed. Fourier while studying heat flow in metal rods, unknowingly laid the foundation for image compression, music streaming, and signal processing. When your navigation app finds the shortest route, it is not guessing. It is running graph theory and optimization algorithms developed by mathematicians like Euler, who studied abstract networks centuries before GPS existed. Euler solved the Königsberg bridge problem for curiosity. And today, his ideas guide delivery trucks and airplanes. Blaise Pascal, along with Pierre de Fermat, laid the fundamental groundwork for modern probability theory, and today social media platforms rely on probability, linear algebra, and optimization. Mathematicians like Andrei Markov studied chains of dependent events with no application in mind. Today, those same Markov chains predict what video you will watch next. What began as a theoretical question now controls digital attention. Medical imaging is another victory of mathematics. CT scans and MRI convert raw signal data into images using inverse problems and Fourier transforms. Without math, doctors would not be able to see the organs and detect anomalies. Mathematicians like Johann Radon developed these ideas long before hospitals existed to use them. Even money behaves mathematically. Risk models. 
loan interest, stock fluctuations and pricing strategies depend on probability and calculus. Black, Scholes, and Merton did not invent their models for exams. They were trying to understand uncertainty itself. Their equations reshaped global finance. You were never told that Évariste Galois invented group theory the night before he died in a duel, or that Srinivasa Ramanujan discovered formulas without formal training, or that Emmy Noether reshaped physics by proving that symmetry creates conservation laws. These mathematicians were not chasing grades. They were chasing understanding. They wanted to explain motion, heat, light, waves, randomness, and structure. Now, don't get it wrong. See, I am not denying the fact that practicing math or solving problems is not important. In fact, they are important. Practice sharpens your thinking and problem-solving builds confidence. When solving becomes mechanical and curiosity is missing, math turns into stress and frustration instead of meditation. So if you truly want to become good at mathematics, stop asking how many problems you need to solve and start asking why the idea exists in the first place. Be curious about where formulas come from and what question they were invented to answer in the first place. If this explanation helped you, please like the video and share it with others who might benefit from it. So good!